So welcome back aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Talisco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about Enum. Now in fact, uh, Enum, Enum is used in all the languages, right? If we talk about C programming, C++, so Enum is everywhere. Now in Java, when, when we had the first version which is 1.0, Enum was not there, right? So there were, there were lots of people that were saying that Java lacks features, Java, Java doesn't support multiple inheritance, Java doesn't support Enum, we don't like Java. So in 1.5, the Java community, they came up with the concept of Enum, right? So again, this Enum is not the same Enum which you have in C and C++, it is very different from that. We'll see that what is the difference in, this, in, the, subs, in, the, subsequent video, in the subsequent videos. In this video, we'll talk about the basics of Enum. So, you know why we need enum? So let's let's take an example. Let's say I want to represent some constants. Example, let's say when you talk about the range of integers. So we have the range of integers which goes from negative range to positive range, right? So it is a predefined type. But let's say if I want to have my own range, example, range of months. So we have 12 months in a year, right? We start with January, we go for February, we go for March and then April, and then it ends at December right we can go for the uh, we can go for the range of colors we have green red blue again we have those uh, uh, shades in blue as well we have sky blue light blue and all the stuff but we have a range in colors we have a range in mobile phones or mobile phones company we have apple we have samsung right we have all this range so if you want to create your own range we can use enum but enum was introduced in 1.5, right? What about what before that? So before that, if you want to create a range of constant, basically, we used to work with interfaces. Example, we can name this interface as, let's say, mobile company range. In this mobile company range, we can define our own constant. Now, the, the way you used to create constant is by saying, let's say, int, or maybe not int, let's say, string, uh, the first company would be let's say Apple and the name of Apple the value for Apple would be Apple Now this this Apple here becomes a constant because by default if you write anything inside the interface I mean if you create any variable inside the interface that becomes a constant, right? So by default it is final even if you don't mention final it is final Right, so you can create multiple constants here. We can say string Apple. We can say uh, Oh, oh, what's that? We can say string, uh, string, not mango, but <laughs> a mobile company. We can say Samsung, right? And we can have here Samsung. I just made a mistake. It should be in capital because we are, de we are declaring constant, right? So it should be Samsung. Okay, so we have Apple, we have Samsung, and we, we can have multi we can get multiple constants, right? But whenever you use this constant, in fact, uh, this should be static const static variables because I want to use this with the help of interface, right? So if you want to use this in main class, what we should do is we used to say, let's say if I want to compare this name, so I will say if, uh, if mobile company dot apple dot apple, I want to compare this with, uh, with my own string as apple. Now the problem is this is a string, right? How can you how can you know that this is a string? How can you know that this apple is a string, not an integer? Because you may assume that that's an integer and you, you can compare with a number. Again, you will get an error. We don't want that, right? We, we, we should know what type of constant you're working with. So if you're working with this type of constants, we can use something called as enum. So we can say enum mobile company or we can simply say mobile uh, and we can create constants here. So we can say this is Apple. We can say this is Samsung, right? We can add one more company, let's say STC. So we have all this company here. And that's how you can create a enum now. And we can remove this thing. Okay, let me just do that here. Let me just print the value for enum. We'll say mobile dot Apple. So that's how you can use enum here. So we can specify the enum and we can create the constants. We can create Apple, Samsung, STC, right? Again, this semicolon is optional here. If you, even if you don't write semicolon, that's okay. So whenever you create an enum, that semicolon is not compulsory to write there. But it's better to have semicolon because we are coming from Java world. You know, we have this habit of keeping semicolon at the end. 
So let's go with that uh, flow. Let's keep semicolon at the end. So that's how you create a enum and that's how you use a enum. So when you run this code now, and you will get the output as apple, right? In fact, you can apply the if condition here. You can check the constant with the apple constant or something in that format, you know. So that's how you use enum. Now, uh, if we talk about this enum, it has multiple methods. In fact, we'll see that in the subsequent videos. So we can create an enum with the help of enum keyword. This is important, remember. We have an enum keyword. We have to specify the enum name and then we can create the constants. Now, how it is different from other languages? In fact, this in, in C, C++, we use the same syntax, right? Nothing, nothing different from this. But we do have some difference in Java. Now, we'll discuss the first difference here itself. We can define enum inside the class as well. In fact, uh, that is something we can do. So instead of defining the enum outside the class, we can define the enum inside the class. Okay, what, what about inside the method? Uh, no, that's not possible. We cannot do that inside our method. You can see we are getting some errors. So compiler is giving you some bad words. So we'll go back and we'll set that into a class. So we can create an enum inside the class or we can create an enum outside the class. So, so yeah, that's how we can use enum. In the, in the next video, we'll talk about uh, different ways of using enum and different features. So thank you so much. And make sure we, before going for the next video, you have liked and subscribed the channel for more updates.